is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be building a little mini fence here for my turtle so that they can actually have a place to bask but also not just roam the entire yard and escape I kind of had this idea on a whim because we went to the store and I found all these little fences and I was like oh my gosh I know summer's kind of almost over but they had these really cute fences and I thought I could totally just make a tiny yard for my turtle and that would be super cute. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we're going to go ahead and build this little fence. First off, I got to I gotta cut all the tags off. And so I got six of these fences. I want to say they're probably two feet across, maybe. Also want to apologize in advance for the audio since I don't actually have my microphone on me. I'm actually in the middle of a really, really big project, so that's why I don't have it right now. We're finishing filming for this project this weekend, so by the time you see this video, we'll be about two-thirds of the way through filming, and it's really, really exciting, so I don't know if any of you pray or do any of that kind of thing, but if you do, please keep eating your prayers, or at least, you know, send good vibes for that project. Don't know that I'll ever talk about it really here on this channel, because it's something kind of completely different, but who knows? Maybe I will. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments, but for now, Got all the tags off, let's go ahead and put our fence in. So as you can see, I kind of picked this spot here because there's a tree right here that gives it some shade during the day, but also the turtles will have access to some sun. So the hope is that they can pick and thermoregulate that when the sun is out, they can either be in the sun or the shade. Make sure that the turtles can't slip underneath the fence part here. All right, I think that's close enough. That's one piece down, five more to go. The hope here is that we don't hit any rocks because if we do, we'll have to pull up and reposition the fence. This is going to be so cute. of a 40 gallon breeder of floor space, 36 inches by 18 inches, tiny little run area for them to hang out in, partially hopefully in the shade, partially hopefully in the sun. But in the meantime, let's take the turtles out and see how they like it. Here's Nemo, he's about ready to go and head into the little fenced area. Let's see how he likes it. It's a little bit cloudy right now, but hey, who said that you can't get UVB on a cloudy day? It's certainly not as strong, but let's see if he roams around. I think he might be a little bit confused by everything going on. <laughs> Moment of truth, can he escape through the slats? Nemo is definitely more chill when it comes to basking outside. He kind of just nose around and figure out where he's going. Here we go. I guess he's a prisoner, he can't escape. Can you fit your shell through there, buddy? Maybe not. All right, so you can see Nemo down here. He's just gonna be the only one using this pen for right now. I might take Koku out later, but the sun's really not out right now, which is nice because it's not super duper hot and I'm not dying as I put this fence up, but you still can get UVB through the clouds. It's just, you know, not as strong. But anyways, this is the little fence that we ended up building. As you can see, I guesstimated these are probably more like 18 inches. So basically, this is the floor space of a 40 gallon breeder. So far, we've had luck and Nemo has not escaped. I bet if he got smart enough and turned his shell, he would be able to. But then again, you would still have to supervise your turtle even if you had something like this. Because even if the turtle isn't able to escape, other things can still get in. Dogs, cats, birds even and I would not feel comfortable ever leaving a turtle alone outside unsupervised unless whatever enclosure they were in was completely predator-proofed. 
but this is good for peace of mind just knowing your turtle is staying only in one area so that it's not meandering across the entire expanse of the yard so that's why I did this as far as the durability of this fencing I really don't know how good it'll be given that it was super cheap it was literally a dollar fifty per fence I mean the staples it's really just held together by staples and glue and when I actually pulled this one back up to put it back in the staples came undone on that side of the fence which is easily fixed if you have a staple gun but just something to keep in mind it's really not a long term kind of thing but it's nice to just put up maybe through the summer if it's not going to rain a lot i would imagine that i would pull these out and not leave these year round or anything like this but if it was just for the summer it's kind of nice to just have a spot where your turtles can stay and roam around but be confined to one area and also it just it looks super cute to be completely honest it's just adorable so there's nemo there's his new little run let's call it a turtle pasture actually that'd be kind of cute this is a turtle pasture for nemo and hoku again if you were to make something like this you still have to supervise your turtle no excuse to leave them alone out here unless it would be completely predator proof which would be a little bit difficult and kind of honestly time consuming there's really no point to it but if the weather is nice you can take your turtle out and this was kind of just a fun little project so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to drop a thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all next friday have a totally awesome day bye bye